I'm now going to edit the vertex of this string. To edit a vertex of a string, I'm going to use the option on the CAD toolbars on the left and come down to String Edits. I'm going to hold my left mouse button down and come out to the right too this time. I'm going to release it on the icon called Edit Vertex. This will then bring up the Edit Vertex panel. Again, I can left click anywhere up the top of this panel and move it around so it's out of my way. The next thing that you want to do is then go down to the bottom left of this panel to the icon called Pick. Left click on the Pick icon and then come out to the right and left click on the vertex you wish to edit. Remember to accept. This will then display all the properties of that vertex in the Edit Vertex box. As you can see, this vertex has an X coordinate. It also has a Y coordinate. It is tinnable as it is ticked on. It has a name of the line. It's in a model called CAD. It's got a color of cyan and a 12D line style of one, which is a continuous line style. If I wish to edit this vertex now and give it a vertex ID, I simply just left click in the vertex ID box and type in the ID I wish to give it. In this case, I'm gonna give it a vertex ID of 101. I can also do the same for the said coordinate. Here, I'm gonna give it a Z coordinate of 100. I also will do the same for the symbol. I'm going to use some predefined symbols already in 12D. To do this, I'm going to step out to the right and left click on the symbol icon. This then brings up the select choice box where you can go down and select the symbols you like. I'm going to go down to the survey folder and left click on the plus icon. This will then bring up all the symbols inside of the survey folder. I'm gonna click on SURBM, the top symbol. Once I have it, I'm gonna press select. This will now display that symbol in the symbol box. Once I'm happy with my selections, you have to remember to set the new additions first. So go down to the bottom of the Edit Vertex box and select the icon Set. You should then see just above the Set icon, it should say Property Set. And now if I move over to the Vertex, you can see it has that symbol attached to it. If I also double check this by using Strings Inquire or the F2 command. This will then bring up the Strings Inquire box. I simply then left click on the pick icon and then left click again on the vertex I just edited. And now in the information panel to the right of my cursor, you can see that it has the new vertex ID of 101, the new symbol of SURVM and the new Z value of 100. Once you have finished editing the vertex, you can then close this panel by using the finish icon. This then will finish any edit vertex commands.